to download Kodi Omega. As you guys can see, I have already installed it on my phone. It doesn't matter. You can install on iPhone, iPad, any device you have and any iOS you're running. Follow this step, all right? Let me just delete this and I'm going to be showing you guys again by downloading again, all right? First of all, you need to watch the video till end, all right? In order to install this Kodi Mega app, you need to install first this eSign app. Let me show you quick how to install this eSign app and then we're going to start to show you guys how to download Kodi Mega, all right? First of all, you need to go up to the Safari, all right? And then you need to come up to this website and of course you will find the link under the description below. Once you're here, just go down a bit and click on install DNS and just click on allow. And then we need to go back to the settings and then we need to scroll down till we find general, scroll down, find VPN and device management, click on it and it will appear our DNS here. You need, you just need to click on it and install it. Once you have done that, we need to come back to the Safari app again to the website. Well, this time all you need to do is scroll down till you find eSign app, or so you guys can see. Now just click on it and install it. Once you have installed it, it will appear like this on your home screen. Now, in order to open this, you need to go up to the settings and then you need to go back to the general and then VPN and device management, the same place that you went earlier. Now you need to go to the bottom and click on it and it will appear a message saying trust. Just click on trust and reset your phone. Once you have reset it, then you will be able to open. Well, when I restart it, now let's try to open the eSign app, which will open successfully. All right. As you guys can see now, in order to use the eSign app, we need the certificate. All right. All we need to do is go back to the same website. And then we need to click on download eSign certificate. All right. Once you have downloaded it, go ahead to the open eSign app, click on it on those three, but click on the three dots which is located the top right corner and click on import and here we need to import that we have recently downloaded which is this eSign certificate all right click on it and unzip it and then it will appear a new file click on it and click on the first one and then select it once you have done that your eSign is good to go now you can install ip files all right once you get the app once you have done and installed the eSign app, all you need to do is go up to this link, which I'm going to leave the link in the description below. All you need to do is click on this app. And it will tell you to download. Just click and download. And once you have downloaded it successfully, all you need to do is go to the eSign app and then click on top right corner, three dot, and click on import. And now click on recent and find that you have downloaded the Kodi IPA and just import it here. Once you have imported here, all you need to do is, as you guys can see bottom, click on apps beside the files and it will appear like this. Now just have to click on the Kodi and click on signatures and signature again. And what it does, it will basically start to download on your phone. It may take some time because this have a, I think almost a GB. So it would require some time to download, but when it, once it's done, all you need to do is click on install button, just like that. And once you have click it, you're good to go. It will start to download on your on your phone. That basically, I hope this helps, guys. If you need help, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'll try to help you guys out. Till then, I'll catch you in the next video.